The investigation continues into the crash that killed two people in Barrington Saturday morning on the Wampanoag Trail, a stretch of road that spans Barrington and East Providence. Police believe speed was a factor. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill tells us how both Barrington and East Providence police are working to get drivers to slow down. Lauren? Well, Mike Shannon, Barrington police say they have issued more than 200 speeding violations in that area in the last six months. And as a result of this and the recent fatal crash, both their department and the East Providence Police Department are increasing patrols, calling this a problem area. Police cracking down on speeding over on the Wampanoag Trail. It is uh, an area over the years that has been um, associated with higher speeds. Over the weekend, a crash on this road claimed the lives of two people just over the Barrington line. Police say 33-year-old Jezbel Rivero Hernandez lost control of his vehicle and veered off the roadway. Police found his car heavily damaged in the woods. Both Hernandez and his passenger, 23-year-old Adina Pupoquile, were brought to Rhode Island Hospital and were later pronounced dead. This is the aftermath of the car severely damaged and towed away from the scene. Barrington police say speed is believed to be a factor, and now they will be adding one additional speed patrol, which is supported by grant funding. East Providence police also increasing their presence in this area. Our department is taking some action in trying to uh, address those issues with directed patrols from our patrol unit as well as our traffic bureau. EP police are increasing their patrols to help out Barrington, and they've had some of their own trouble in this area as well. Anywhere. Um, where you have those straightaways where people think they're on the highway, they're going highway speeds. According to Barrington police in the last six months, they have issued over 200 speeding violations and 367 verbal warnings in this area and on parts of County Road. And Captain Raposa reminding people to slow down in this area during the winter months when roads could be icy or slick and it's more likely that an accident could occur. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.